You asked with our eyes closed to look around and uh, see what we saw. And I took that literally to look around this room. <laughs> um, so in the sections of chairs, there was orange fire that was growing taller. The more that we pressed in, the fire was getting taller and the fire started to dance. <clears throat> and um, then I saw Jesus standing at that back door and he was sort of leaning, just sort of like this, against the door jamb. Uh, with a smile on his face, he was relaxed and he observing, and he was willing to take the back seat um, as people practiced. That it was okay that we were willing to not just 100% always on Jesus and block everything else out, that we were given permission mm -hmm. to um, see the rest of what Jesus had to offer. And then uh, there were large warrior angels in like their armor. There was a fiery sword uh, in their hand and it was drawn, ready to go on the three back doors. And then I'm like, okay, well, there's one more door. And it wasn't a uh, warrior angel. It was this little lady angel with a coffee pot. And I'm like, okay, but what? <laughs> And I'm just looking deeper, and here she's coming out and serving all of us here living water. So it was a coffee pot, but if there wasn't coffee in it, it was sparkling water. And we didn't have cups. She's pouring it on our heads, <laughs> which is like, whew, what? <laughs> um, but then the more that she poured the water, the more the fire grew. Wow. So it's almost like gasoline, uh -huh. <laughs> gasoline on a fire, yes. but it's living water. And then there were worship angels up on this sign uh, at the altar, spinning slowly. And it was like they were dressed in gauzy whiteness flowing about them. They were dressed in God's glory. Hallelujah. And, um, and then you asked, uh, ask Jesus what he wants to tell or show you about your guardian angels. And uh, I saw Jesus at that point walking up from the back to the side aisle where we were at with a uh, tall Mr. Watcher, which I've seen before. He's about nine feet tall, Israeli. He's got like a, a linen tunic on, um, like the leather belt. He's got double swords and he's got wings that are more back behind him. Um, so nine feet tall, he's big, he's very, intimidating in a good way. <laughs> it's like, you want him on your side. Mm -hmm. um, and then out from behind Jesus and Mr. Watcher pops this other guy who's regular size, more um, thinner build, and he's goofing off. And I'm more of a serious kind of person. So it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> and, uh, to me, he seemed new, that I hadn't seen him before. Um, he's clowning around, he's kind of like my daughter, doing the standing on your hands and doing things to get you to laugh. And uh, then the Lord reminded me that I have seen him before, and I had called him Mr. Joyful. I had seen him at Faith Factor when he was swinging from the hanging fluorescent lights. Third, it's like a big bubble church, and so they have lights that hang down from chains. And he was swinging on those lights like a swing. And it was while we were worshiping. And um, I've also danced with him when I was flagging at Niagara Worship Center. And I tripped uh, because I was trying to do what he was doing. And it was very childlike, very um, joyful. And my body cannot move like that in a skirt. <laughs> And, and so I went down, and he's cracking up, laughing at me. Um, and I wasn't embarrassed at all. That the fact that I was so childlike, I had fun, I picked myself up, and I kept on dancing. And so that's what I got. <gasps> Yay! Hallelujah! That is blockbuster revelation. Thank you so much for sharing that. So good.